Probably over 2,500 pounds. Well, then I'd say on a, on a, on a power to weight ratio, he probably got me there. Well, we've got 500 horsepower. And then we'll have 2,500 pounds. And a top speed of over 270 miles an hour. Well, I was going to ease you. Uh, you could have watched Frank go flying by. Yeah, and we're going to be doing about 160 miles an hour over the top of him. And we only have about a half mile to race. Well, let me tell you, pal, six seconds later, he's going to be gone. What do you do today? 317. Six seconds later. Yeah, we got to catch him. Got to catch him. I want to hear. We've got a, a great air show crowd out here today. I want to hear. I think there were tens and tens of people. There were tens and tens of people. Who thinks that Shockwave's going to win this race? He almost did. So with the world's largest big lighter, here comes Ken Shockley and Shockwave. It looks like the Home Depot's the foot truck almost beat him. Here's down there to the left, dog. Now didn't you tell me this was designed like a racing airplane? Now well, here comes Ken. You know, I'm going to give him a little signage here, Larry. You! Yeah, you! You're going down! We're taking! You're going down! Gravity will win this game. 
forcing uh, the nose of the aircraft earthward as he accelerates to over 200 miles an hour out of air show right. Frank will keep the airplane tight inside the box and let's go live into the cockpit with Frank in two, three, four to the inward and six, one, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And thank you Frank Ryder for a very precise nine point hesitation for all. Goes <laughs> back to the control stick. Dora rolls the airplane to the right, showing us the top landform view. Right here, he'll kick the left rudder pedal under his foot. Once, twice to the left knife edge, thrice to 45 degrees nose low. And the fourth kick puts him straight down. He quarter rolls it, exits the air show box, stays right. Watch now, on the right side up. One and a half knots. One and a half times back to the right side up. What do you think so far? Frank Ryder. Watch now as Frank performs what we call the bounce back roll. A pull to the vertical. He'll roll the airplane 360 degrees. Hit the stop right there. Bam. Now 360 degrees the other way. Transitioning into an upright flat spin. Now the nose comes earthward in a normal spin. Now he'll half roll the airplane and come right back screaming into the air show box looking for an airspeed of over 220 miles. You'll see the Blue Angel Diamond Loop in a little while. Right now, Frank's going to give you the orange version of the create an eight-sided gym of a maneuver for you. There's side number two. Three, 45 degrees climbing goes high. Four across the top. Now things will happen faster on the back side. He'll go to five, six, pure vertical, seven, 45 degrees, and eight, bottom of the ass, up this oxygen in the sea, and he's running, 270 degrees, and three, and using the whole flight line, there's point number four, Frank Ryder and the Orange Cyclone, falling back through his own smoke, demonstrating the stealth characteristics in his own anorexic cumulus cloud, Frank Ryder exits the air show box, stage left. Now Frank's going to set up for his last number today, and I'm sure you have those souvenir programs that you put an article on Frank, as well as all of our other civilian and military aerobatic and wing wag tasks. Did you see your members of uh, the Army and the Rhode Island Air National Guard out here? We want you to be sure to set up for a landing. And uh, let me tell you, that big nine-cylinder radial engine out there in front of him literally obliterates his forward vision of the runway. Right now, he cannot see down the runway center line. He's having to look over the wings, left and right, small windows of opportunity over the leading edge or the front part of the wing, left and right, to make his way and navigate the airplane onto the runway. Now, he's going to lower the tailwheel gently, pull off, and he's not finished flying yet. His Frank on the ramp now. It looks like he's getting ready. Yep, the smoke comes on. And he disappears in his smoke. Watch what happens when he comes out of this. A little tail flying for you here. Still flying that Oryx Cyclone at minimum altitude. Folks, it takes power and elevator skill and daring to put your expensive propeller that close to the ground. Frank's going to come on back up and give another little quick salute. We got lots more high flying action for you. Of course, our uh, finale this afternoon will be my favorite, the United States Navy Flight Demonstration Team, the Blue Angels. But we'll see uh, a local fella, a young man by the name of Michael Goulian, taking to the skies a little, a little while. And and we'll see if we can't get Frank to do us a little spin around right look, here. Look behind you, Doug. Look behind you. Uh-oh. Look who's here. 
Our winners of today's race, ladies and gentlemen, Kit Shockley and Shockwave. Some people call it the Shockwave, we just call it the winner. Excellent job. You'll see the Shockwave tonight. They're both taking a bow. Isn't that great, Mary? Absolutely. The winner. You know, there are no losers in today's race. They're both winners in my book. Absolutely. Yes. 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 Yes.